Oh, it's going on YouTube. One of the XM here. Riding on a nice, warm 100 and... It says 100 degree day. It's probably a little warmer than that, though. Today's topic is something that I feel that I get asked, and most motor vloggers and anybody that has anything to do with motorcycles usually gets asked. And that is... Which bike should I get? And I do find that question to be kind of funny to ask a you know, random ass person or someone that isn't you what you should get simply because they're not you. <laughs> but I will say that there's some advice I would give when choosing a bike for yourself first and foremost you got to try them out you got to try a lot of different types you got to try a lot of different styles and uh, the best thing is to do to do is to go in open minded with every one of them don't try to go in there thinking that it's going to be that uh super bike like this is going to be like a sport touring you know, the, the power delivery, the way it rides, the way that it handles and stuff like that, they're all going to be different. So you got to go in there with an open mind and a clean slate just to experience whatever bike it is you try. Because there are just so many out there. For me, obviously, I love these type of bikes. It's just the style that I love. Will I ride other ones? Of course I will. I have. I mean, I've demoed a, a bunch of different types of bikes. And that's why I know which ones I love the most. Uh, talking about... Um, had a conversation earlier today about whether or not I would change from a Superbike to like an Enduro or like a Multistrada Ducati or something along those lines. And while they're great bikes, while those style of bikes are very comfortable and do everything, just not where my heart lies at least not now so when you go around bikes obviously if you have your endorsement and everything it makes it a lot easier to be able to demo different motorcycles and that is what I would suggest first and foremost just go out there throw a leg over them sit on them if you're able to ride one definitely ride them and just try them all the second thing is you gotta think of what you want it for. I don't daily ride my bikes. I have in the past and while I will ride it to work every now and again, it's mostly a weekend type thing that I like to do on them. And I'm actually gonna do a little video about driving and why I drive more than I ride in general. But it, I know what my bikes are for. They're for weekend ripping. If I want to go to the track, I can, you know, and I can cruise on them. I, I did a cruise today. It was definitely not a fast ride by any means. I don't think I got over 60. <laughs> but I know what this bike can do as purpose. And while cruising isn't what it's really intended for, it's something you can do. But you got to find what that bike is for. If you're going to use a daily rider, you actually want something that's a little more peppy in the lower range. And what about a lower range, like a 500 to like 3,000, 3,500 RPM. You're going to want something that you can put bagged on if you need to. Something that's uh, comfortable to ride. You're not hunched over too far. You're not in a very aggressive riding position like this is. You know, you're going to want something that can really just get you from place to place and for motorcycles they all have decent gas mileage i mean they're better than most cars in general and they're pretty cheap to fill up so if you look at a mileage yeah there's some out there that are better than others but i wouldn't be overly concerned unless you are commuting long distances and again commuting long distances you're going to want a specific type of bike for that so go to the dealerships again and you know talk to the people. Uh, not all salesmen are geared towards just the sale. A lot of them, especially in the motorcycle world, want to just give information. That's that's what they're good at and that's what they know the most of. And they do get to ride all of those bikes in the dealership. Most of them do. So to not use them as a resource would 
kind of be hindering yourself. It's fucking hot. Woo. 102. So yeah, you, you gotta find a bike that fits your personality. You know, like for my fiance right here, this cafe racer just fits her personality incredibly well. And yeah, believe it or not, like cars, motorcycles can take on a, like a human aspect to them. They have character. I do believe that the Italian motorcycles, the Ducatis, the Prillias, the Envia Augustas, all have a personality to them. More so than the Japanese bikes and even uh, BMW. So you gotta think about stuff like that. What speaks to you, then there's people that want to, you gotta ask yourself if you're one of those people that like to upgrade and modify your, your motorcycle. Some lend really well to doing that, others not so much. So you kind of got to see where you want to take your bike. And by take it, I mean like which direction you want to take it. Do you want to modify, you want to change the fairings, you want to change out the fender eliminator, you want to put more power, do you want to make a drag bike, you know. There's so many things that you got to kind of ask yourself. So when choosing a motorcycle, a lot of people get fixated on what CC to get. And for me, I would never tell someone that they should, they, it would be a good idea to start on something like this or 1199 or 1000 CC anything. But you know what, that's, that's their choice. And if you're mature with a throttle and you understand and learn how to ride properly, really you're not in that much danger as long as you respect the machine that you're on and that's what comes down to the displacement and the power of bikes is how much you respect them even a 300 demands some sort of respect because it, it still gets you in trouble and not just in the law but in your practice of how you ride it can still get you in trouble and still get you hurt so don't get hung up on the numbers of a bike. Don't get hung up on the displacement as much. Really kind of see what fits you. See what suits you. And by all means, demo, 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 demo. There's demo days a lot. If you can find a dealership that has a bunch of them, go to them. See what you can take out. I. I kind of am hesitant to say go ride your friend's bikes, but the unfortunate truth is a lot of dealerships are very anal when it comes out to doing demos. And if you're around some of those, you're kind of stuck with whatever your friends have. And what sucks about that is people modify their bikes. They change a lot of things. So you really don't get the best baseline of what a bike is because it's been changed from the factory so when you forget that same bike it's not going to feel the same because it's not the, the one you rode isn't set up the same way that it was from the factory that your buddy might have it so there's a lot of things to consider and definitely don't make it a quick decision take your time fill them out and you know, over time, your tastes change. Mine so far haven't. <laughs> They've only gotten more extreme, I guess. I went from a Seabarrow 600 to uh, all the way up to this. I mean, granted, I've had 1199, my 1299 and this, so it's gotten more speed and nimble as far as my bikes have gone. So that's the kind of direction I went. But yeah, there's, there's a world out there that motorcycling can lend to just finding exactly what you want it's a really cool thing about bikes you can find exactly what you want or for not the, a ton of money you can make it almost exactly what you want so that is my little video today all about motorcycles and what to start with and what to get and stuff like that really just go with your gut what feels right to you Listen to what other people say, but take it with a grain of salt. It's their opinion. My opinion, you know? My opinion and my views don't exactly line up with a lot of other people's. And that's fine. It doesn't all have to. 
Just take it for what it is. See if you can apply it. If you can, awesome. If you can't, fuck it. Let it go. With that, you all have a good one. I'm going to go home, sit in an ice bath, because it is fucking hot. All right, later.